Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove options from the right click new sub menu. If I right click on the desktop and go to new, these are all the different options that I have. And if I didn't want some of these options, I could go to the start menu and in the search box type reg edit. And I'm going to right click on it and click on run as administrator and before making any changes to the registry the first thing that you should do is back it up and the way you back it up is if you go to file and then export and then save the backup to a location that's easy to find later if something did go wrong you could always restore from the backup and to do that you would go to import and follow the wizard. I have a video on how to back up and restart the registry. If you have any problems here, I would check the video out. So after backing up the registry, I'm going to highlight computer and then I'm going to go to edit and then to find and then I'm going to type shell new. I'm going to click find next here's the first entry here if you don't know what an extension is I would either google it or just don't mess with it at all and you can hit F3 to move on to the next entry which is right down here and this is for the .bmp extension which I know is for bitmap image I don't need this option so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on shell new click rename and then at the end of the name I'm going to put 2% signs. You can put any character that you want after the name. I'm just using percent signs so it's easy to see. Once I have it renamed, if I go back to the desktop, refresh, and then go to new, there's no bitmap image option here anymore. Okay, and I'm going to keep moving on. I'm going to press F3. Here's the next one. I don't use the contact option, so I'm going to remove it from the menu. I'm going to rename it. Now if I go back to the desktop, go to new, the contact option is no longer there. So now I'm going to press F3 to move on. This one I'm not sure what it is, so I would either Google it or leave it alone, and I'm going to move on. Here's the .jnt, this is the journal. I don't need it, so I'm going to right click on it and rename it. Now if I right click on the desktop, go to new, journal is no longer in the options. I'm going to hit F3 to move on. Don't need to worry about that one, so I'm going to move on. Here's the RTF file. This is the rich text file. I'm going to remove it. Now the rich text document option should be gone. And it is. And now I'm down to text document, compressed folder, and briefcase. And that's all I have now as my options. If I kept going, hitting F3. There's the .txt, which I'm going to leave. That's this right here, the text document. Here's the compressed folder here. If I right click and went to new. Right here is the option for compressed or zip folder. I'm going to rename that one. If I right click on the desktop, it's no longer there. Once again, I'm going to hit F3. And here's the briefcase option here. I'm going to rename it. Now if I right click, now the only thing that I have as an option is the text document. And if I ever wanted to use one of the options that I've removed, I would simply just go back to it. 
rename it and take away the percent signs or whatever characters you used and now I should have the briefcase option back and there it is and I'm going to go ahead and rename it to get rid of it and that's how you remove options from the right click new sub menu thank you for watching have a great day